In today's video, I'll be sharing proven CV templates that has helped my clients secure caregiver jobs in the UK and Canada. I have different templates. I have different formats I use for my clients. And this is just one of it and the one I want to use for this tutorial. Whether you have little or no experience in caregiving, nursing, healthcare, after watching this video, you'll be able to craft an outstanding CV for yourself that will set you apart from the competition. If you like the sound of that, like this video and subscribe and let's get started first thing first let's break down the structure of the cv starting with your contact information that's your header your contact this is like one of the most important things that should be on your cv and it should come on top with your full name with your first and last name now i have had situations where i finish revamping my client cv and the person will be like no in my draft i had like my three names why is my three names not there? My name is so, 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 and so. I'm going to explain to you now. I do that in almost all my videos. I talk about resumes and CVs. You need just your first and last name on your resume. You don't need your third name. For instance, I'm a recruiter. I want to be able to know what your first name is. I want to be able to know what your last name is. When you use your three names, I get confused. I'm thinking, did you start with your surname followed by your name and your middle name? or you just choose to start with your name your middle name and your son so to avoid this confusion just use your first and last name okay on your resume the next information that you should include in your header is your email address now if you don't have an official email address just go to google just type in gmail and sign up for one if it's fun akman is taken that's of course you should use your name your first and last name don't use Mufana. Don't use my name. <laughs> so if your first and last name is taken, get creative with it. You can use Mufan Akman on that score. Okay. Now, if you have something like sexy girl, millennial, body, one, two, three, or Mufan Akman 2004, that's your date of birth. Remove it. We are not interested in knowing your date of birth. Remove it. Change your email address to something corporate, to something more official okay next information is your phone number followed by your linkedin url now if your linkedin is not optimized don't bother though the employer will still check you out but don't include it on your cv finally on your header is your address do not include your full address your street name your house number just the city and the state is totally fine all right so the next section on your caregiver cv is your professional summary this is a brief introduction to who you are, what you bring to the table, why should they hire you? So tailor it to highlight your caregiving experience. Avoid using outdated words like team player, dynamic, seasoned, you know, you know all those words you use on your CV. Avoid them. Let me show you an example of what you can do. Don't copy and paste. Don't copy and paste, okay? This is just for educational purposes only. All right. So in writing your professional summary, you need to take cognizance of keywords and where do you get those keywords? You get them from the job description. We're going to talk more on that. So let's just move forward to the next section of your resume, which is your work experience. This is where the magic happens. Now, before we proceed, pay attention to this. If you've done, let's say, if you've been a banker all your life, don't lead with this, all right? Because a recruiter doesn't want to, you are applying for a caregiver position, yes? I don't want to go through your resume. I don't want to look at your resume. And the first thing I see in your work experience is that you're a banker. You've been a banker all your life. I'm not sure you're going to be managing finances as a caregiver. It's not a skill I will want to prioritize over someone else who has an experience in caregiving. Okay, so if you've been a banker all your life or you've been an engineer all your life, don't lead with your work experience. So what can you do if you've taken certifications, if you've taken courses on caregiving, then this section should come first before your work experience. I don't know if you understand what I mean. So normally there are different formats of resume, of writing your CV. There's the chronological, there's the functional, there's the hybrid. Instead of going with the chronological order, the normal format you're familiar with, lead with your certification. This is what I mean. I'm going to tweak this CV right now 
normally the certification is the last for this particular template let's say i've been a banker all my life but i've been able to take some courses and certifications what i'll do now is to copy this certification and bring it here I believe you get my point so this is it for people that don't have experience at all but let's say we've gathered some few experience along the way i'm going to take this back and just keep it the way it should be all right and bring it back here okay so another way you can lead with this is to bring your skill immediately after your professional summary okay so if you've been a banker all your life you've been an engineer all your life or you've been doing other career that is totally outside of caregiving outside of nursing or healthcare what you can do is to after your professional summary you lead with your skills followed by your certification and finally your work experience so if i'm a recruiter and see that this person has certification this person has at least you don't try to improve yourself another way you can get experience to enhance your resume or your cv is to volunteer which we're going to see now on this template we're using for this cv you can see here in the work experience you can see here in the work experience the first experience is volunteer caregiver the person volunteered in a church when it comes to writing your resume your cv this is not only peculiar to caregiving in any role at all there is no skill there is no experience that is wasted the only thing you need to do is to sit down with a pen and a paper and think there is no irrelevant experience it all depends on how you present it on paper next one is personal caregiver private resident think about a time you took care of someone yes Think about a time you took care of your mom, you took care of your dad, you took care of your sister, you took care of your child, your husband, your wife. Think about, them. there has to be, there has to be a time you took care of somebody. That is a relevant experience. Provide care and assistance to my aging mother, including assistance with daily activities, medication management and emotional support. Coordinate medical appointments and communicate effectively with healthcare professionals to ensure the best care. Now, after all of this, you can now add the other experiences, your banking experiences, your teaching experiences. You can just add only one. You don't have to add all of it. You can just add only one because you obviously, you were doing something before now. You can't tell me you just started your career in 2000 and what do we have here? 2022, okay? So you can add just one, you can add two, but make sure your CV is not too long, okay? Now let's talk about your skills. You need to go to the job description and check for skills that they mentioned there. I'm not saying you should do just copy and dump, no. Take a few key skills and add them to your resume. And then we have the education. Now for your education, even if it's not relevant to caregiving, you can still add it to your resume. Just bring it down. Now all you need to add is your university, the name of your university, the course, and that's it. Now that being said, I want to show you how you can incorporate keywords on your professional summary, on your skill section, or through your resume. Okay, so let's go through a job description. This is a job board from the UK can see here the job board is carehome.co.uk slash jobs i'm not saying these people are hiring from all over the world though i'm just using this <laughs> as a case study okay for the sake of this tutorial now let's filter keywords from this job description highest quality of care engaged with residents in meaningful activities provided companionship and highest quality of care or you can bring it to your professional summary you get my point <laughs> supporting our residents with personal care you can see when i was listing the skills we had personal care there yeah this is another keyword you can use patience communication and listening skills are equally important so these are keywords you can incorporate in your resume.